Okay, so I've been pulled over for a traffic violation and I am being detained illegally by, I did not get the officer's name yet, but we will as soon as he returns to the, to the car. I've asked for a supervisor to be brought onto site so we can educate him on his roles and responsibilities and his limitations of authority. I asked him if I was being detained. He said yes. I asked for what crime does he suspect me of committing. He said he's investigating a traffic violation. I said I'm not conducting, I'm not in traffic. He said you are driving on a roadway. I said you're making an assumption. I am traveling on a right of way. And if you don't know the difference between the two, you need to get your supervisor out here so we can educate you on your roles and responsibilities and your limitations of authority. So, we'll see how long I'm being illegally detained here in the city of Yakima for one of my headlights, assumingly being out. He turned an illegal U-turn as soon as he saw that I didn't have both headlights. I do have a corner marker light. I can see that there is a reflection on the, on the uh, white line here where I pulled over. So... I'll go ahead and keep this lifetime. I've got this thing plugged into a lithium ion cell, so. So when he comes up here to either release me or when they get their supervisor out here, we'll get their names and badge numbers. And this is an infringement on my human rights. I have the right to freely travel on rights of way, to be un, unbothered I mean, you know, when, when people turn like red and blue lights on, a lot of people freak out about it, you know? I mean, because a lot of the times these cops are overbearing their, uh, overbearing on their authority. I mean, I'm just out here trying to get me a piece of pizza and I was going to go get me a donut over at Safeway, but now I get the opportunity to educate an officer of the law because he is ignorance in his upholding of it. Now, if me not having a headlight and no corner marker light and driving at nighttime had created an accident or a victim in my actions, then yes, he would have the right to be able to ask me for my license, registration, insurance, all of these things that would be necessary to hold me accountable for the crime that I've committed. A crime has to involve a victim. There's no victim in my actions. He should have just given me a, uh, saying, hey, you know what, did you know your light was out? Uh, have a good night, drive safe, I hope you can get that, that fixed soon. But he hasn't, he's escalated this. He didn't de-escalate the situation and honor my human rights. He has escalated the situation and now requires a supervisor to be on site. It's important to remain calm because these guys don't always remain calm. They, um, <laughs> I've taught 35 of them a class on how to do this, but it doesn't seem that uh, he was part of that class. So another car is just pulled up. I'm assuming it's a supervisor. It doesn't have any lights on.
Oh, and they're over there pulling somebody else over. So I was right. told. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. No, no, my supervisor's here. Okay. okay. Can I get your time? name and badge number, please? And Officer Gordon. Officer Gordon. Yeah. Four four six six. Four four six six. Thank yeah. you. Correct. Right. I, I'm just I'm just here to educate you guys. Okay. Because I, I I was active duty for nine years. I've actually worn the uniform, and I recognize that we were trained to give you know, to get people during an interview to give up their rights as a human being. And so now I educate people as often as possible in in this. So this is this will be for my YouTube channel. So I and I hope that you are going to withstand and stand within the oath that you soar to uphold. Okay, I, I just asked you yeah. for you. No, I, no, I know you, you didn't. You didn't demand anything from me. Right. Because you know, like I said, I'm investigating the uh, equipment violation or infraction. So. Right, and, and but that but that's for traffic laws. Yeah, it's though, traffic. Right. Yeah. Okay. And traffic is, is commerce. Okay, but traffic you're still required is, to show your driver's license, you know, because you're driving upon the roadway. I mean, but I'm not driving on a roadway. That's an assumption of my guilt. Okay. You're you're well, assuming. Well, when I seen you, we were we were traveling on the yes, roadway. Yes. Right. Okay. okay. So traveling is a right that cannot be regulated or infringed upon. Okay. But well, I'm right? stopping you for equipment violation. But but that would be a for a commercial violation. Do you have your driver's license? I don't need one, I, because I'm not in the act of do, commerce. Do you have one? I have one. Okay, can I see it? No. I, I, well, I'm, I'm asking, what, what crime have I committed? Because I haven't committed a crime. I, and, I'm and not for, you for you, any crimes. I'm just saying this is a traffic okay. violation. That's, that's, I understand that. I understand that's that. why I'm stopping the content. I, I understand that. Okay. So I understand that's, that. So that's a no? I, I'm, 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 I'm saying that it's an unlawful request if you demand it. Well, it's required by law. It isn't required by law. Okay. You don't want to provide it. That's we okay. have what okay. we have to do. Okay. So, am I still being detained? Yes, you're not free to go. Okay. All right. Under what? Okay. Under what suspicion? We've already discussed that with you. We'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so now the supervisor and the officer, they don't understand a right to travel. A right to travel shall not be infringed. So now they are both subject to 18 U.S.C. 242, which is deprivation of human rights under color of law. I've educated them. They are no longer within their... Um, what was it? Uh, something immunity. Um... Professional immunity, House Bill 1054 said I didn't even have to pull over because I have not in, been in the commission of a crime, and this is a traffic infraction. A traffic infraction is not a crime. The only time you must ID, lawfully identify yourself is in the commission of a crime or if there's reasonable articulable suspicion to believe that you've committed a crime. See, they play like this at nighttime because they're hoping that, every, you know, they hope that it's just a drunk or somebody that they're gonna come across. And I agree, they, they should be getting the drunk people off the roads. I have harmed no one.
So this First Amendment audit for Yakima Police Department on Wednesday, here in October, I think I'm on like the 24th or 25th, isn't going so well for the city. I've been, de I've been detained now for about 12 minutes, unlawfully, on the side of the road. They've got more than one officer involved. They're not de-escalating a situation as they should be. They're escalating the situation. So you got to remain calm with these guys because they're they're ignorant. You know, these guys are obviously ignorant because they they don't know what our rights are. You know, you don't really have to say anything because anything you say can and be really can and be used against you, you know. You don't have to provide them any information that they would use against you. He asked if he could see my driver's license. I didn't give it to him. I didn't I didn't um, I'm not legally obligated to provide it. And that's where they don't they're not recognizing their limitations of authority. They shouldn't have detained me at any time point in time you know he pulled me over with emergency flashers when there's no emergency present he's detained me for now going on 16 minutes 16 minutes of my life that he doesn't realize I charge hundreds of dollars per minute of my life it's what I feel I'm worth and it's they're depriving me of my time and my energy and my freedom of movement. This is why people are like they're they dislike police is because they're tyrants. They're absolute tyrants. 
they're assuming of people's rights and they're they're trying to intimidate me by just by holding me here beyond be uh, against my will and they're hoping that I will I will just bow to their expectations that when they demand an ID that I present it this isn't Nazi Germany I served nine years active duty to deter this world from terrorism and tyrants. And I moved to Yakima, Washington, and it's full of them. They've created a danger here at nighttime off the side of the road. Nobody complained about me. <laughs> this is... This is them showing themselves as tyrants. Hopefully they're looking up how to handle this because a lot of other police departments, the cities that employ them, are sued for these infringements against human rights. So almost 20 minutes now, they've detained me. An illegal detainment, an illegal arrest on the side of the road because one of my headlights wasn't working properly. I do have corner marker lights. Everything else is functioning fine. I wasn't speeding. There was no other infractions. But yet he pulled an illegal U-turn and pulled me over. I pulled over because when he used his emergency lights, I was assuming that maybe he needed some help. This is not the case. He's proving himself to be a tyrant. Officer Gordon, you are a tyrant and a dishonor to the blue line. The blue line is supposed to be a filter for the finest, not a shield of accountability. There's real crime in this city that they say they don't have the manpower to attend to. Yet, <laughs> here we are. Yet, here we are. On the side of the road, on a Wednesday night, I was trying to get a piece of pizza. And yet, here I am, pulled over by the police.
That's better. You don't need the small picture to be that of the of me being persuaded by the police officers. Hello, sir. Hello, Lieutenant Moore from the Yakima Police.